Uh, you open the other video too. Why are you always here when I'm opening videos? Because I don't have anything to do with Glio. And I'm an idiot. Nope. Glio sent me coffee. And you know why he sent it to me? Because later in this video, I uh, helped him with a space shuttle video. I hope you and the boys enjoy the coffee and the cookies. Oh, there's cookies! Your YouTube Happy videos year. are the best and we enjoy them. Thanks for the help with my space shuttle pit. That's coming. Sorry. There's nothing on this. There's a PS on it. But there's a oh, PS. Oh. I poke Brother Rob. Yeah. He said Brother Rob. You're not Brother Rob either. Oh, Black Rifle Coffee. These guys are great. Go to the Black Rifle. Here, right there. You gotta watch their channel. Cookie. <laughs> God. What cookie? Pike's Place. Some Starbuck. Look, there's not even an S on the. Oh, no, there's an S. I thought they did the same thing I did with Space Wars. Space. Star Wars. Star Wars. Pumpkin Spice. <laughs> Oh, wafers. Oh God, this is God's gift. Wafers made with real pumpkin. The it's kind so that they squish. Yeah. I like these because when you, you bite into them, they like crush. Soak them in your coffee. It's and good. look, Lenny, I may let you take home this Independence Day lamp. Huh. It's a little black on the ends, but I think it still has another 300, 400 hours. You know, these are rated at 18,000 hours, Lenny. 18,000. Fluorescent. Fluorescent. We buy cases of them. This is, we call that the Sega Stern box. And the LED retrofits are only good for 300,000. Oh, you know what this will also fit? This will fit the Hollywood Heat. That's just System 80 Bs. It's the same tube. Okay. Anyway. What are you going to do with that information? <laughs> Piece of crap. You can't talk that way. This game has to get finished. This guy's screaming. He sounds like you're screaming. screaming. This is going for Jeff. Uh, you'll see him either in this video or another one picking this toy. They gave this game up. Um, and listen, look. This is the gold mine. But Bob has been waiting. But Bob wanted to see if Stephen would just love doing some extra added artwork to this game. Stephen? Sorry, I can't hear you. I'm busy. I think that was a no. <laughs> you have to. Look, I had this padded. This is going to be oh. where I'm going to be able to sleep at night. Should we start the video? I think we should start. What about Lenny? Are you gonna help us out or are you going home? No! Good answer. <laughs> I guess it was an answer. Let's start. Jordan has come to pick up Leo's um, space shuttle. Look, I even, look at all the time and effort I put to put the sticker on here. See, yeah, that's a tough one. Now, Jordan works for Bob Cunningham. Yep. That's this phone number here, and he does pickups and delivery. So you're taking this to Ohio, to Leo. Yep. Uh, in the way back to the hub in Kentucky. How soon do you think you're, you're going to go directly there in the next couple days? I'm going from Philly a couple stops, down to Maryland a couple stops, then I'll be in Ohio on the way to Kentucky, but it'll be dropped off before then. So probably, I'd say, uh, a day or two if we'll have it. Okay. And he's working on Labor Day. <laughs> Aren't we all? Everyone wants their games. They do. So call Bob if you need stuff moved. Also remember, Ed Cancellieri moves games too, but just locally within the two or three state area. So look, I got them both plugged. We're going to get him loaded because we're not staying here all day because it's a holiday. That's what they say. Look. A bargain basement, Kurt. Were you very cold? You saw you shut the fan off? It's 100 degrees in here. Robbie, the Robbie. Let me call Robbie and tell him that you unplugged the fan. 
oh. hammering me all day. This beauty was in somebody's home for many years. It was sold by Jersey Jack. Jack Canary sold it. It's gorgeous, and we think it was homeless only. Uh, it very well could be. Uh, if it was vended, it was very small operation. I mean, the coin door is super clean. It does have the foreign connector on it, but it's just so beautiful. Uh, we did clean it up. He's going to put the LEDs in, but he saved himself mess of dough. We did service the boards because that's part of our uh, as is electronics are 100%. Frank's cleaned up the board. There was a little battery damage. He cleaned all that up, put his battery board in, changed the capacitors, look all new in our high voltage unit. He cleaned these up because you know the capacitors are now leaking in all the data east games. New cap here. All this was redone. Kurt, you found a bad pin in this. Pin and fuse holders, you know. Fuse, fuse holders. holders oh, the fuse holders were snapping off. You can buy the fuse holders. So you have to change a lot of the data east for some reason they were very brittle and they fell apart. Service the amp came along really good. It's nice, isn't it, Curdy? Power connector on the display. Okay, yes, we always do that. By the way, you should know this. Yes, like that out. You have to change this and put in triuricon. The original one just wipes it on the top. It's not enough. There's too much five volts going in there. Really good. Gotta fix that, right? Uh, there we go. The train is ready. Oh, uh, now you can get a cup of coffee. You can go to the bathroom. Dirty plane. Wait for this thing to come back. Hello. There we go. Finally. Not again. Listen, go on our website, go on inventory. Frequently we sell stuff as is. Then you don't have to worry about the electronics growing up. Because we'll do all that. We even reheated all the lamp boards under here. We reheated the magnet board. And that's because. Why? Let's hear it. I'm great. If you did it, you'd be great, but you didn't do it. I paid you idiots oh, to oh, do oh. it. Strike zone, soul, still Look, here. Another shuffle in. Kurt, another one. Another one sold. See, look, Frank, this is here. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's beautiful. <gasps> you know, I gotta show you some footage that we took. Um, of a unique new battery holder that uh -oh. I'm going to release. Uh oh, it doesn't sound good. Oh, you're gonna love this. Does not sound good. Let's look. Uh, you ready with this? Yes, I'm gonna show you our brand new battery board system for people that want to keep the original AA batteries. This is something that Frank developed, and you see the Velcro adheres. Oh, this guy did it. And then it no. hangs. See, like this. 
and what you do is you cut off your old your old battery holder. Let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, oh, oh! Rank your new battery board system. <sighs> anyway. I just thought we thought you'd like to see that. This oh, stuff. like it's, it's like your remote control car. You just the, put the, the, this the, was, the Velcro yes. on the bottom of well, it. Well, this was actually refurbished by a competitor, and he thought that was like the greatest system. We'll have to peel this tape off. You're not going to say the, the cat's meow. Uh, also, notice there's no socket, and the customer, in fact, blew out this chip. Yeah, so the switch fun. chip is blown. So what was all wrong with so, it? Blowed up. All blowed up. Blowed. Blowed up. Your favorite. Blowed so because of that, he sent us the board. We're going to put Frank's real battery board in there that we sell on the website right there. You know what's really funny is people, people don't like batteries, but brand new games have a battery in them. Go out and buy a top of line <laughs> motherboard for your computer. Guess what's on it? A battery. Wait a minute. Frank, are you trying to tell me they don't put a... Chip? Nav RAM? No. Wonder if look I could at that. Look at that. Look at that. You'd have to desolder that chip. Go ahead and point to that for me again. You'd have to desolder that chip on that game. I've been doing it for 20 years and even I still screw a trace up. So guess what? Put the battery in there. Keep it original. You design the game to be run with a battery. Seven, about eight, nine years now of real world testing proves that the three point Three volt cell is more than adequate. Lasts five years. It's about you five buy years. Buy one at yeah. Walmart. When your wife's out shopping, you grab a new one. Doesn't get any easier. Boy, oh, you can, can buy trays. Friggin' throws them all in the place. Oh, I was gonna it's show gonna off the trays. Todd, about. you can't do that. China's not I shipping. We can't get any more of those. I'm not bending. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. They want to see your finest butt. Oh, Todd, he wants a raise. Plumbers crack for you. He needs a raise, so he's gonna be down there for a little bit. Plumbers cracking here. That's true. That's true. So, have you learned something? Yes. Let's don't buy a game from this guy. That's for sure. Anyway. Well, Shorten shouldn't buy one from you either. Frank! They barely watch his channel. Uh, oh, look. Kurt's little grandbaby is walking. Hi, Briella. Look at that. One year old and walking. Look at that big smile. Here, go to Grandma. Nope, oh, nope. She's going back to the other. <gasps> Hello, big girl. Whoop, oop, oh, oop, oh, oop. Oh. Careful, don't fall on the razor blades. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Hello, little munchkin. You're a little thing, aren't you? Curdy is getting Mr. Ski Ball ready, aren't you, Curdy? I am. This is um, one of the newer units. Well, actually, the last unit that Ski Ball made. Nice with the color display, it's a beautiful machine. Um, and uh, it's got the metal grill on it. It was the final production model from the Ski Ball company. And Briella wants to play it. Let's see. Uh, here it is here. Look at that. Ah, oh, 2000. January 13 is when it was made. Good, Curdy. Launch it and get 100 points. Ah, you won. Now, this uses Sensomatics. See right here? You sense Mr. Ball. See? Kurt, maybe we should just leave these off. So they can see. Get, they're painted. Oh, oh, okay. Mr. Paint. Okay. Uh, now she's also getting Raven. Uh, oh, what's really nice about this business? Oh, what? Quick latch. For. Put the oh, oh, to put it together, they use the coffin oh, locks. Isn't that nice? Wow, they use the coffin locks Beautiful. that Data East used and then Stern. Up until the new Stearns. Nice. Very nice. These are real coffin locks, just like they use them. They're going to use them on my coffin, Kurt. In about two weeks. Two weeks. 
heard somebody complain they don't like my whining. Some jerk. I'll whine all I want. I don't like my whining. So she likes it though, doesn't she? Boom, 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 boom. Now, we started to talk about Raven. She did not like the Raven backlash at all. She wanted something happy. So she selected teed off. It's the exact same size. So we didn't have to trim it. I had the Raven Mylar elsewhere. Uh, so, let me. Now see, this has got our Timmy exclusive. The shooter is now lit. And it bleeds over right into there. Isn't that great? That was his idea. What a great idea. Very clever. It was my Timikins. Good one. It was his idea. Now we're doing it to everyone. Kids go bonkers for this game. Did you work on this? No. That's your work right there, I can tell. What? Rainbow. You don't like... I hate your rainbow effects. Well, I, we have to have colors. I don't, I don't like white. And war don't mix. Kurt, I left these white. War? Isn't that supposed to be colorful? <laughs> Should have made them all blood red. Absolutely. Kurt, I'm going to have a Parks Hollywood heat. I'm going to leave every, all the boards intact. It's missing a lot of the plastics, I think. But we're going to sell this as a Parks. Do you think somebody will buy it? There's the body over there. No coin door, no transformer. Cheap, 500. Somebody's gotta take it. Are you happy? I'm happy. We're gonna shoot each other. Happiness. Oh, she wanted a happy game. She was actually, well, she wanted a happy game. So now it's happy, it's golf. Did you know that when you play this you game... Move your butt around the side of the corner of the cabinet? That's it. what! Can I go? Did you know when you play this game that... It's just a jump to the left! I don't... Put your hands on your hips! Why are we playing Hokey Pokey? I was going to say, why are we singing that crappy song? Left foot in, right foot out. No, it's... He's, he's going back to his memory. Both of us aren't that old. Nope. No, this programs it. And look. Bargain Basement A Go Go. He's going to repaint the playfield. It's a regular customer of ours. Dave has bought a lot of games from us, and he is going to restore it. So we just made sure every bulb work, every switch work, and, of course, it has the TNT quality. Frank's button battery board. The switch update. Hold on, let me do the light on this thing. Board reflowed. Look. Capacitors a go go. Capacitors, soundboard. It's bulletproof. You boys made deliver. Whenever you're ready. Stop oh. it. I should have a spotlight on me at all times. You ready for your close up there, Mr. DeVille? I'm done. Right. Turn it off. Ah, uh, look. Bargain Basement South Park. I'm gonna send. Oh. Nobody wants to see you plug this in. Oh, well, you should have it done. Nothing happened. <laughs> Very good customer of ours. That it won't. works. It works. Game is really pissed off. It's trying to figure out where the balls are. Okay. 
Anyway, he's bought this as is. Now what we did is we didn't paint it, but he saved himself $800, but we put in these here, these beautiful factory um, metal mail, uh, plates. plates to cover the, the, the paint marks that are missing. And of course, as you already know, Stern puts them on a lot of games now. We lit the buttons, we lit the front here. And it does have LEDs in it, and the, uh, the fellow that had it before us did an okay nice job on it. It looks good. My customer wanted to save a lot of money. We still did all the boards. Uh, Frank's battery board, we reflowed silver solder on all the header pins. Kurt, you rebuilt the flippers. Yep. Isn't it great? Yep. And uh, I, I think we'd be very happy, but you know, the boys, the twins, they're going to go on an adventure to deliver this thing. Shall we see them load it? Okay, you're ready to go. Because we're bored of being at the shop. There's Ooh, never, look, ever, turn, ever. Turn and look at the camera. There's look, nothing they're ever. They're so close to being twins. <laughs> Just like <laughs> your twins. They are. Look at the. He needs to get this a little bit cleaner. We will for the galloping ghost. For the we'll galloping ghost, not for you. Well, you better not screw this up. Joe got the Sinbad overhaul, and that's where you idiots plowed into his garage. <laughs> that was your fault. Now you, you better not. He's be too doing... cheap to get the brakes done. Well, he, here's the scene. But here this they is are. Quite They've arrived. They've arrived. My boys. They've arrived. <laughs> Sounds expensive. <laughs> Those idiots. Yes, that's what they did. Oh, crap. He was very nice to us in Chicago, though. Yep. Remember he let us use his rental car? He did. He did. He was very kind Went to the party with us. And now we're, we're unloading this piece of this wonderful game. And we'll play it with a love. Yeah, of course. You better leave now. You know, it's three hours each way. Hey, you, each you, way? You signed us up for this journey. Well, you better bring footage back. Footage. And now, let's see them start. What's up, everybody? Going to New York. It's uh, 8 o'clock. We'll get at our destination at 10.30. Here in the old TNT war wagon here. We got a South Park in the back. Yeah, we're gonna be picking up some fat homeless bum. What's up, everyone? Thought we'd have some fun going to New York because we're bored. Uh, just show the, show the old road here. Life is nothing, it's a nothing. Life is nothing but a slap in the face. Life is nothing, it's a nothing. Life is nothing but a fat rat race. Back on the TNT again. Up, oh, got your shirt on. Got the shirt on. Hey, Todd. This is uh, the second game from us. We're on the zombie apocalypse. Yep. Corona bumps for everyone. Corona bump, boom. What's happening? We're here with oh, okay. our okay. drop off. Say hi to Facebook Live. Or... Hi, I'm Joe. Yep, Joe. We hung Joe's out with Joe. a good Joe. customer of TNT. Yep. We've dealt with them a couple times. Joe's we... Game Room in High Park, New York. We uh, we restored this about a year and a half ago. Third player. We got the Munsters, and he just bought this from us. So this is what we dropped off. Mr. Todd's on here with us. He's in the chat. Hey, Mr. Todd. Hey, Todd. Joe's saying hi. How you doing? We're playing a little monster right. premium. He, he, he loves his game. Oh, yeah. Thanks again. Thanks again, Todd. Appreciate it. Oh, and he took care of us for our tips. <laughs> Man, it's more we make there in a week. 
operation. Oh, Mr. Todd, Joe has your shirt on. Look. Oh. See, level X-3. This is the infamous Adams Family. And this has the Special Collector's Edition ROMs in it. Now, the guy we got it from thought it was a gold. He was told it was a gold. What they did, in fact, they painted, oh, they put the gold knob here. They gave four gold legs, which we're going to give them. Uh, we put silver ones on. He put the five pop bumper caps, gold, bookcase gold, and this gold. And then they painted this ramp gold. Now this looks like it is a real gold ramp. It doesn't look like they painted it. But it's not a gold. Because there's certain ways you can tell. The most obvious way is to open it up. The golds had solid state switches. Not the leaf switches, okay? And this is the old sticker. This is the sticker they used for years. They switched it to another sticker uh, with the newer games. You can see the golds were made, I think, a good year after these were out of production. So they made how many? I mean, 20,000 of these and 1,000 gold. So the people I got this from were lied to. They told it was a gold. Oh, another way to tell, too, is this is blue. See the word Adams Family? That's blue. Okay, so anyway, but uh, uh, the bargain basement, uh, there, he's going to do the whole full shop out on this baby, and uh, we have to put it so, That's what he's going to do. It's beautiful, isn't it? Well, it's a good start. I like to say it's a good start. Let's see, we have to put the balls in. Oh, it's on free play already. So he's going to take it all apart and make it pretty. So that, that's his goal. So, uh... Anyway. What are the chances of it going? Another, another bargain basement ready to go, Pat. Do you know, Walt, how long this guy has been waiting for this space shuttle? A while. A long while. He, he got the Paragon. Remember the Paragon we filmed ages ago? This took us so long because you have our sticker. I have our sticker? Yes, look. There you go. My competitors love it when I add this because this just proves how great I am. Here's what happened. We had three of these. And we thought we were actually going to make two out of the three. We got one out of the three. And we're going to have two parts machines that we're going to be dumping. Anyway. You still, we still had to order some stuff. We had to order a space shuttle, a new space shuttle. And fortunately, this company here makes the space shuttle. See that on the bottom of your screen? And the stickers. And it's cheap. It's only 60 bucks, I think, with shipping. But it's cheap. Now, the problem with this space shuttle is it's much heavier duty than the original one. But you can't see through it. So you can't put lights under it and it won't shine through the plastic, it's too thick. So we did something different, we did something better. Uh, well first of all, look, look at the lighting, the beautiful LED lighting, they have different colors, the different rows here. Isn't it nice? And it's spelling space shuttle, A-C-E-S-H-C, -E isn't that nice? This was such a landmark game. Up here, look up here, we have 
um, LEDs here, but you see behind there we also have super bright uh, LED flash lamps that you'll see soon. Our blinking moon has both red and blue fire LEDs made by Comet. By the way, all these are Comet lights. We love Comet pinball. Uh, all new plastics, uh, or all new uh, posts. We have the Cliffy blue posts here. Okay, they go here and here. Um, we put clear caps on. I, I always hated those other ugly ones. We put clear ones on, but we put fires inside. Okay, you'll see them flicker, and it's really neat because it looks like there's a fire underneath each corner when they're actually lit. See, the computer's flashing. When it turns them on, they start to blink. The fire starts to blink. See how brilliant these things are lit up. Really nice. And we have a, a color changer here. See where it says change shuttle value? He said, let me put a shuttle value. But listen, underneath here, we put a strip lamp, okay? And then we wired it, wire tied it with the light from the switch that's right here, the little switch, so that four wires run through a hole down to the play field. This flash lamp, that the strip lamp here is hooked up to the space shuttle lights here, the flash lamps. Now you see, well you can't do that because the strip lamps are only six volts. No, we bought 12 volt strip lamps and there's an Amazon link in the description where I got them from, where you can buy them. They're cheap. They're really cheap. You can buy the connectors and the strips from them and hook them up where you want flash lamps, but you can't put a light bulb this big. You can just put the strip. Uh, we have it stuck under the underside of him, okay? And Kurt secured it too with a piece of another piece of plastic, I think, right? The back, the back end of the, back end, the screw. Back end? Okay, good. With a screw. So there, you, put it, you added a screw here a with a clip. Hook. There's a hook. Wire go through it. Thank you. I should show them, but I'm not going to. But you know what? I will show them. I'm going to show them where you cleverly hooked it in. All the playfield. Right here. So these are the wires. They're running through the harness. Looks just like the factory did it. And you know why? Because we're the factory. You know what? We rebuilt the flippers. Brand new left and right flipper paws, springs, sleeves. We also put brand new um, end of stroke switches. That's because we're great. Mm -mm. Well, I'm great. Nobody else knows what I am. Anyway. Wow. Nice. Isn't it? Now, we're going to show you the effect because you all seen Space Shuttle, but I think, oh, oh, this is the Timmy exclusive. We've lit this lane, this, and this with blue lights while expelling Space Shuttle. Here's the strip. Okay, we have it wired through. See how it comes on? And because, and there's one on this side over here, see? And this, in fact, creates our fully engulfed light matic button. Mm -mm. Fully engulfed. Just like his house will be fully engulfed in flames. Gosh, <laughs> horrible to me. Now look, now let, let's see this effect. You see how bright these are and how bright this is. Look, do you see the, see the flash ready lamp under there? Let's do another one. Ready? Watch again. So it lights ready right underneath the one. spaceship, the space Three, shuttle. Two, now watch, watch them see how it's going to come out. It's flash. Isn't that nice? It's a really nice effect. And Kurt, isn't it a nice effect? Aren't I terrific? Did you see the effect when you see how it pulses with the sand? Oops, that's great. Are you going to put the uh, car dispenser in this game? Don't you dare. You couldn't even do that right. You, you, you're so clumsy. It's 11 o'clock. 
You're so clumsy. Oh. Now look, uh, Jeff is coming tomorrow to get this toilet. Another one. And this is lit here. And these are timed, I think, with it. But we're going to, you know what, we're going to show you when Jeff comes. Uh, Stephen has repainted the art on the side. So we have the uh, red, brilliant red new tea molding. Oh, it's beautiful. He's going to be very happy. He's coming tomorrow. Independence Day, we're going to show you that soon. We're just finishing it up. Hollywood Heat, we had the wrong game ROMs. We got kind of foul up there. supposed to spin around and look at the camera and, and look, look enthusiastic. So and what? Happy. What about you? So happy. Happy. Now, who's going to pick up the cards? Jonathan. Oh. That on the list. First thing, Jonathan pick up all the cards. <laughs> do something. I can't do Let, Let's go over and look at this list. Do something. Pat, come over here. Now, according to this, we need rags and bags. Is that true? More long casters. How can we keep running out of them? Now, here's Jonathan got this all done, see? Jonathan times two. Tom is out with a, um, not a hernia. Gall, gallstones. He didn't get this. Get class of 81 shocked. Out going out Friday with Stranger Things. Ha ha, you okay? Frank? Frank! How are we gonna get all this stuff done? We threw me on there, that's awesome. That looks like a uh, Scotty. You need to all cast me. Right. Any only one that works here? Useless, who wrote that? Hello. Who wrote useless? What? Oh boy. Pat. Now everybody's gonna know. Come with the Stargate, is that going out tomorrow? No. That the centipede's going with that. I what well, look we got picture tubes everywhere. Oh god. That centipede. I got picture tubes. Pull that more? Yes, that has to pour out. Where the guy wants us dead. Um. Well, that's all we have for tonight, except I want to remind you about the Pinball Expo virtual this year in Chicago. We're not going there, but we'll be there virtually. You can watch along with us, and on top of all that, you'll be able to see me in a special seminar. So we hope you uh, enjoy it. And since we haven't done it for a while, let's end with some of Tammy's Barbie music. Good night, folks. Ooh, I'm an Epcot Barbie girl, and these pink dreams can come true. I'm an Epcot Barbie girl, you know that you are too. I'm an Epcot Barbie girl, the show made my heart sing. It's my own water. Me. Watch it every day, come with me, don't delay, I'm an egg, hot bomb.